So Orlando, you all were basically the first to uh, start off in the field of azulejos in Goa. Yeah, I think so. Uh, because I came back, I was in Portugal in the year 98. Yeah. And uh, Then uh, when I came back uh, from Portugal, I started this. Yeah. I think in year 99. Yeah. So you're basically in a lot of art. I mean, apart from azulejo, there are also there are also the uh, ceramics and uh, paintings. And yeah. No, my main, my main uh, business, I mean, and main work is is uh, around tiles, azulejos. Yeah. That's the main. Uh, but I, I mean, I also have a lot of you know inquiries for other forms of art. How unique is this at the All India, All Asia level? Um, well, there are there are a couple of uh, people who are doing it outside uh, outside Goa. Uh, Where? In 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 Bombay, but it's not traditional. After Azulejus. yours? After yours? No, uh, no, no. Uh, tile painting probably okay. existed. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. Yeah, tile, uh, tile painting probably existed. Yeah. Uh, I remember having gone to to uh, Taj Lake Palace. Jaipur. Jaipur, Udaipur. 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 Yeah, I was surprised to see some tiles there. But in you the know, blue style, Azulejo style? Uh, that was in blue and yellow. Okay. Yeah, blue and yellow. Okay. And um, so... But this this style, if you it traces its roots to Arabic origin yeah, via the course. Portuguese. Of course, of course, of course. So you all virtually revived it. Was it existing in Goa, or, or the few houses that had imported it from Portugal? I think so. The, you know, uh, the, the most of the murals that that are seen in Goa, like the Menezer Yeah. The, the one in uh, in, uh, in where is that? Uh, Sanchsteva. Which Sanchsteva? Sanchsteva. Yeah, some hall. Uh -huh, yeah, yeah, the hall, the hall. There's some hall there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, in Kankon, Kanakon. Kankon at the Not market? The, uh, no, no, it's in a school. In a school, in that Rising. old institute instruction. Yeah, in, in, uh, the massive mural. Massive mural? Yeah. Azulej. Yeah, Azulej. Traditional Azulej. Exactly, the Vasco. You know, I was surprised. I was surprised to see We'll finish soon. Yeah. No, no, get it. Ah, okay. I was surprised yeah. to see um, the massive uh, village uh, mural there. Yeah. And uh, uh, besides that, there was another one in, uh, you know, uh, ba ba not Bhatpal. There's a place close to Kanpon. Kanpon, yeah, on the way. There's another school. I see. Yeah, I, I, was, see. I was quite surprised, I you know, see. how. Uh, how they thought of <laughs> landing in Kankon and putting these... So you're suggesting all of this came from Portugal? Obviously. Because even the Viegas home, I think I photographed it and there is a, a sign saying Portugal. No, Portugal. You can make out on the style, you can make out on the color. You but know. I was reading somewhere that among the Portuguese, there was an India influence style where, where they took birds and plants and things like that. You know that? Uh, Indian influence? Yeah. Century yeah, probably. Back. Yes, yes, yes. Probably, when they first probably, encountered. Probably. There are a couple of designs with... Uh, they are not, uh, I, I cannot say, I would not call it Indian motives, but... Uh, Themes, no? I have not uh, seen anything like that actually. I mean, there are there are a lot of designs with birds and stuff like that. Yeah. But then, I you can't say it's... reference on the Wikipedia. Okay, okay, okay. Did okay they okay, mentioned okay. something about Indian design or something. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So, what would be the, is Goa evolving its own style? In terms of themes at least, because... See, what happens is, um, um, see, when I came from Portugal, I, I used to first work on, I, the first two, three years, I worked only on blue and white. I see. You know? That's traditional. Traditional, traditional. traditional. But uh, not everyone, if you need to sell, yeah. you know, let's put it that way. If you need, if you need, need to sell, you know, not everyone would uh, uh, appreciate know, that. Appreciate blue and white. So now you're in I got a lot of inquiries for color murals. I see. Yeah, and that's how I started using color. I see. Yeah, mine is, I mean, of course, it's more for uh, the tourists and all my designs are mainly tourist oriented. Uh, but we also do, you know, uh, nostalgia. Yeah, 
That's exactly. a big market. No? I exactly. mean, even exactly. in our publishing exactly. and exactly. writing, people feel strongly about it. Of so course, you have to echo. Course, of course, you can't. You, you can't, can't ignore it. You can't ignore it. Uh, what are the challenges you all face in terms of marketing, in terms of visibility? People are people aware of it? Do people know that this option exists that they can maybe can they pack and send it home after a holiday, or is it tough because of the fragility? Uh, See, as far as I am concerned, here the people when they come, okay, we do the packing right from, you know, uh, bubble wrapping it okay. and putting thermocol on all sides and and, and uh, giving it to them, you know. Of course, I'm I'm talking in terms of uh, frames, you know, six yeah. dialers and max, say eight dialers or whatever. I see, I see, I see. Bigger ones, no? Bigger ones is a uh, see, first of all, they would not be in a position to come here and take off the shelf. You know, ask okay. they can't ask me for a mural of six by four Correct. and expect you know me to give it to them, which for which I take orders for that. Okay. And that is given to them after probably a month or a half. I depends see. on the workload. Okay. Now that is courier to them. Okay. You know. If it's safe. There are some areas. Yeah. Some areas as in uh, Chandigarh and Delhi. I see. You know. These places that uh, we've encountered, you know, breakage. I see. Yeah. So the the type of packing that needs to be done is different. I see. You know, you've got to uh, uh, use additional uh, box, uh, you know, wooden boxes to uh, to you know give it a better this. Safety. Bombay, no problem. Bangalore, no problem, and uh, other places, Kerala, no, it's not not a problem. I, I I don't really know why. I see. Yeah, but uh, some places. Yeah, yeah, some places. I don't know. Whether Cultural there. reasons. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if if you were to expand, what are the biggest blocks in in the way of your expansion? I mean, marketing, visibility, awareness, um, technical skills to set it up on on a wall. Uh, no, no, not really, not really. See, what happened is, um, um, you know, I was going to talk to you about uh, the tiles that that. We are facing the problem that we are facing to get the tiles. What used to happen is we used to get a lot of tiles from Gujarat. That's the place where they manufacture Morbi and Tangar, you know, and uh, ceramic, plain white ceramic. Yeah, tiles. yeah, tiles, tiles. Okay. And I'm not talking of glazed tiles. Yeah. I'm talking of uh, biscuits, and they are glazed, and and uh, uh, after that we paint on them, and then we have we fire them, you know. So I'm talking of sort of a raw a raw stage of tiles, you know. Um, those all those factories have closed down. Most right. of the factories right. have closed down because Chinese mo company. Yeah, most of the people now are getting their stuff from China. I see. You know, and uh, a tile size of six by six or uh, four by four is outdated. I see. Yeah, it's outdated. Um, it's only like in Goa and some other places probably they might be using them. You know, so I started manufacturing my own tiles. I see. Where? Yeah, no, I see. Yeah, got a tire. Uh, because you need to move on, otherwise you're dead. You know, so so that is the thing. Has it caught on as an idea? Do people find it fashionable? In some localities, yes, spontaneous and you know. But Here, uh, as far as Goa is concerned, yeah. see, I am not targeting my main. Ninety percent of my clients are from outside Goa. Yeah, they are the ones who are going to spend. Correct. Correct. But no your cultural spend. context is here in the sense that uh, people understand it as traditional, no? Maybe it's yeah. not caught on, maybe it takes time to catch on in Goa. Yeah, see... Um, That's always the case. Correct. Here people... Are very conservative. No, no, see, as far as I'm concerned, what happens is, my most of my designs are, are linked to the tourism. Okay. In the sense of so scene. Would, scene. Yeah. yeah. So, probably a Goan would not... Appreciate. Uh, not take a scene of a ferry crossing or, you know, yeah. or... or traditional market or something like that, you know. So these yeah. are mainly takeaways for tourists okay. to uh, remember to Remember something from Goa. Okay, now I also do customized designs. Correct. Goans, most of the Goans who come here, yeah, I mean, uh, uh, majority of them, going for nameplates. Yeah. Nameplates. Yeah. So that is what... I see. And yes, uh, yes. in terms of Visibility, like uh, outside Goa, is there enough happening? People understand what the art is all about, and outside Goa, yeah, yeah. of course, of course, of course. 
mainly in of course in Bangalore, Bangalore, Bombay, and Delhi. Put very briefly, what is the process? Uh, it is, it's a plain tile. See, there are there are two uh, ways one can paint azulay issues. Yeah. Okay, but uh, azulay issues originally, as, as you as you said also, is a uh, it comes it's derived from an uh, Arabic word yeah. azulayacha, you know, which meant a little polished stone. I see. Yeah. Now, <coughs> the the traditional way of uh, uh, doing azulay art mashalika in Portuguese is um, we have a biscuit, you know, you, you glaze a biscuit, tile biscuit, yeah. you know, you glaze it and, and then you start painting on it with underglaze colours, which are high temperature colours. I see. Okay? Which I bring man from Portugal. Now after it is painted, then it goes to the furnace. I see. Yeah. But then what happens? To what degree? Over thousand degrees. I see. Yeah. Depends depends on the colours that you use. Yeah. You know, some colors fire at thousand, some I colors see. fire nine eighty, thousand ten, and depending see. on what you use. Um, but um, what happens is inside the furnace, the color fuses with the glaze. I see. You know, and that's how you see. You know, you can't you can't feel the. I see. Color, so it fuses in the glaze. So it could last for a huge long lifetime. Yeah, yeah, it will outlive all of us. <laughs> Interesting, very interesting. See, I tell you, 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 you can go to uh, Central Library, the old yes, Central Library, yeah, which these idiots wanted to bring down that mural. I see. You know, there was around uh, uh, 10 years back. Uh -huh. yeah, For political reasons. Yeah, yeah. What a god alone was. But uh, that mural, yeah. you know, it's it's done by, a, it's painted by a very famous uh, Portuguese uh, uh, artist painter, George Colas. That was done in the year 1954. I mean, it's written there. Yeah. You know, and uh, you can see the quality of tiles. You can see the, you can see each stroke. I see. Yeah, it's beautiful. That's a traditional way. So, how would you transfer his painting to the wall? If, if you how would I? How How would they transfer his painting to the no, wall? No, no, that was hand painted. Hand painted. And it came from Portugal. Each tile. He has hand painted it, fired it, and sent. Yeah. yeah. That's right. There is talk about the uh, Azulejo Museum in Portugal and things like that. Yeah, yeah. It's a big museum. Here we don't have anything similar. Is the government doing something to build awareness? <laughs> or they could be doing yeah, I don't know, yeah, really. What could they be doing? Uh, for Azulay Yeah. See, um, I was told, um, I think six months back, or a year back probably, that they wanted to start uh, a subject of Azulay in the art college. Yeah. Or you never know, no. Anything that is linked to Portuguese culture. At least fifty guys years. Fifty years later, we should over overgrow that. Now. Obviously, that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know how these guys can think so petty, you know. And in terms of uh, you know two other things, one is your painted hand painted ceramics. Yeah. What's the? Ah, I'm selling. I'm sorry. I'm selling you the other, the other, yeah. the other uh, method of painting it is. Um, um, you get a tile, a simple tile in the shop. You know, you know, go Correct. to distribution in any shop. That's already a glazed tile. I see. You know, a glazed tile. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, uh, these are done on glazed tiles. I see. You know, and they are painted with what colors? Same ceramic colors. Okay. Yeah. But not fired. Over glazed colors. Uh, not fired subsequently. On glazed colors, they are called. Yeah. Uh, um, and they are fired. They are fired. Yeah, 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 yeah. But the durability is not. I don't think it, ah. it's the same because um, it's it, it, it fuses with the glaze, no doubt. But then you can always feel the ah, I see. yeah the paint. unless you fire it slightly higher. But then there are other other minus points. The color gets duller. I see like that. You know. So, so this is fired at around uh, 780, 800 degrees. Does that come close to hand painted ceramics? This process? No. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's not a traditional way of painting okay. azulejos, but. Uh, there are a lot of people who use still, uh, I mean, who use it in in Portugal. Those who don't or who can't afford, you know, to invest in a uh, yeah, fun. big size furnace or you know who don't want to do it on a small I scale see. in Portugal, you know, that's also. I mean, but but that is that has got its own uh, you know uh, character and own own style of doing it. Yeah, yeah. And what would be the state of hand painted ceramics? You all are doing it also at the moment in Goa. Hand painted ceramics. Yeah. yeah. 
no, I don't do hand painting okay. ceramics. Only on order. So uh, Bicholi and a few other places do it. I don't know whether okay. they do it. In, I know that Bicholi, the they do tiles. I, I don't know if he started ceramics, but I know that this people uh, who is that uh, Mar uh, Martin's uh, Pankit. Yeah. Pankit has teamed up with uh, Kondo. I see. Uh, Mr. Anil Kondo. And uh, they've started a new, just a new venture, just around three months ago. Beautiful, nice, nice I stuff. See. Nice I stuff. see. Very, Funk is very so great. So, what would be the end, the product? In the form, in the shape of? No. Plates or? Plates Yeah, or? plates So you know, customized uh, design probably if you, if you want. You know, any um, uh, jars and I pots see. and, you know, so small souvenirs, but of ceramic. I see. Yeah. And one last question, what yeah. I'm struggling to understand is why is stained glass in Goa at such a low state of... Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't really know. Yeah. It's this not a Portuguese thing, it's more an Anglican thing or, or what? Because I in other, other parts of India you have these huge uh, murals in churches for example. Yes, yes, yes. But the net seems to suggest that even in Portugal uh, stained glass was uh, huge at one stage. I don't know how it never came here. I really would not know what to say on that. Only Pilar. Pilar. Pilar is the work of uh, Angelo de Fonseca and yeah. uh, that too he was, it was sent to Germany, there's a small... Okay, the they've got the stained glass done in Germany? Yeah, right? that's what it says, even the company's name is mentioned there. Oh, excellent. And uh, what else? Now they have some uh, hotel stained glass or something there. Where? Some part of Goa, name is also stained glass in Salset. Uh -huh. You can find it very easy. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Very easy. Yeah, correct, 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 I, correct. I don't know why they it's call it. It's on the road to Saroli. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know how much stained glass they have. But have you been successful in linking up with the tourism sector in Goa? Yeah, to a certain extent, yeah. See, what has happened is, um, I think I've done most of the hotels in, uh, in Goa, you know. When I came, I did the Taj. You did? I mean, in, in Azulejos. In Azulejos. Taj and? Taj, Intercontinental, Mahindra, then, then Fidalgo's, Spar. Yeah, I've got a couple of them. Okay, so but more could be done, no? probably if you want to make it into a fad or a fashion. Yeah. Where everyone feels that this symbolizes, you know. Yeah, but depends. See, it, it has to it has to be, uh, you know, uh, it has to complement the, the architecture, you know, yes. of the hotel. You know, there are so many places that can do so much. But um, there are some people who just want azulejos, okay, because everyone anything, is like, yeah. Yeah. what, you put anything, they tell me, you know, you do, <laughs> yeah. it, it, it will, it will but get. that's a good thing in a way, because they are making a fashion out of it, no, so, yeah, in a way, although yes. it may not be keeping with the, yes, yes, but, you know, there are times when it's a bit difficult to, to make them understand, you know, the social context, yeah, because, you know, some of the times, sometimes there are, Clients will say, okay, this is your work, okay, okay, fine. But what are these marks? I see. You I know, see. I said, no, they are brush strokes. No, I no, see. no, 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 they can't be brush strokes. They have to be flat. You know, the tone, it, it can't vary from I light see. to dark. I said, no, but that's the beauty of it. No, you're painting my hand and, you know, the stroke is such that, no, 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 it doesn't look nice, you know. Like, a thing like this. Yeah. See, these are done. You see these strokes here? Yeah. Okay. And here... <laughs> It has its own charm, its own yeah. character. Right. You see this, and this right. is slightly different. Right. Right. Now right. this is, right. it's uh, drawn this side, probably. Yeah. Okay, probably this is, the stroke is this side. I see. You know, they see, see the difference, they say, no, no, this is I darker see. and this is lighter. No, no, this is not a good quality. <laughs> no, this is not the way it's to be done. You know, we want it flat. I see. So it has to be, you can't have different shades in that. So it's difficult to, so then I prefer not to. Deal with them. Couple of times, I said, Baba, thank you, <laughs> I, I can't, I can't. Uh, do this, uh, please find another chapter. You know? In terms of artists, do you all manage to source the right artist? Does See, artists, have... there are. But then I've got to uh, train them yeah. and, you know, uh, mold them in, in, and make them understand. I see. Yeah. How it works for yeah, you. Yeah, because how it works for me and how it should be done. Yeah. Because it's a different technique of painting on guys. It's not like how we paint. I see. How do, no, no, no. How do, how we would use watercolors and, you know, uh, oil paint oils and things like that. It's a different uh, ball game altogether. Okay, just to start at, at the end, I should have said, asked at the beginning, what's your story of entering into Azulejos? You, <laughs> you were in Portugal on a scholarship and okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
kind of what I, yeah no no what happened was um, i went it was my see i got my love is for portuguese culture you know music, music or music, language music, literature yeah musical language mainly music yeah you know so uh, it was my dream to learn the portuguese guitar okay yeah it's still my dream and uh, uh, so i applied for a scholarship yeah in the sorry yeah. you know they didn't have a, a subject for portuguese guitar at that time so i had to i applied the first time and i didn't get it i see for portuguese guitar. i said that we don't have a subject i see so then i found of another way of you know okay. getting to portugal to learn that so i said okay why not try for a language and culture I course see. you know i see you know and then i was very open to the uh, to the director and i said i wrote a letter there and yeah. i said see actually my main aim is to do portuguese guitar Okay. But since I don't have a subject, Correct. you know, I'm going to take a different route. Take a different route, right. and you know, and uh, in in Coimbra where I went, yeah. I'd already found out that there was a place uh, in the Association of Academies in Coimbra where they would uh, teach. Julio Kofalo, he passed away. I see. He used to drop me and then he used to drop I me. I see. Back. 
yeah, to his house around uh, five six kilometers. Okay. And uh, I learned how to do, but then he was not he was not uh, uh, painting the traditional yeah. azaleh uh, process, you know. Um, he was doing the the one on 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 glaze tiles. Yeah. So then I went there. So he taught me how to do this stuff. And the first uh, drawing I I did was a sketch of my uh, a portrait of my uh, wife. I mean I was not married and my girl, yeah, fancy. So. So I did that. I came they back. They liked it. They yeah. <laughs> so I came back, and then I never even imagined what I would go through, because great, yeah. After that, what happened was the problem. When I came to go, I brought the colors and everything. You know, I'm ready. I said I couldn't go to the tile shop and buy tiles and come, but then I didn't have a furnace. Oh you know, God. I didn't have a furnace, and I bought a furnace from Bangalore. And a uh, gentleman helped me to make a furnace. Okay. It went perfect for one year. I see. One fine day, what happens is the guy who was supposed to put up the furnace, he forgets to put up the furnace. Yeah. My and I remember I had an order of Marriott's. I had taken an urgent order of Marriott's around 30 tiles. I could put. That time I could just put stack 30 tiles. This small type of furnace. And I went the next day to open the damn furnace and there were no tiles inside. I was zapped. I didn't know what was wrong, you know. Uh -huh. And the light was on. I said, how come this guy is kept the light on? Oh shit, the full thing had melted down. Inside. 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 I lost it, all it the It hadn't caught a fire, but... No, 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 no. Furnace was I damaged? Think. Yeah, damaged. Okay. Then I had to redo the furnace. This was where? Where's your setup? That was, that time it was in Taliban. I see. I had to redo the setup. I had to redo the furnace and send it to Bombay. That's another crew oh, who, who, who cheated me. Who took around eight months to Repair. deliver the furnace. You know, these guys are good talkers. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, yeah. He told me, your furnace is ready, it's ready, it's ready. You just come and pick it up. Oh, one month, two months, three months, four months. Finally, I decided to give him a surprise visit. I went to Bombay. Yeah. And, yeah, and this guy's such a talker. I see. Uh, yeah. Uh, the brain, otherwise, uh, I see. I see. He told me, come, come, come. Uh, where are you, Orlando? I said, I'm in uh, Andheri. Okay, okay. You oh do one thing. Gosh. You meet me in Churchgate and at so and so time and, and we'll, I'll take you to see the furnace. I was happy like that. Oh, uh, gosh. You believe it or not, Frederick? My, he's not touched it. Not touched? He just, he's opened up the full furnace. I see. I was there. I nearly fainted. I said, this is my furnace. Yeah, yeah, but it's going to get ready in two days. You know, the bricks are going to come and this I lining see. and that lining. <laughs> But what can you do? He already had my advance, you know. Anyway, anyway but I think you have done a great job in terms of uh, keeping it going, building the skills here. And now it's on you to take it further, Orlando. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All the best. Yeah, Thank yeah. you.